<laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. Show on Earth. Robocop. <laughs> Robocop. Somebody <laughs> hits you with an out route and it's over. Huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. You're guarding the scene only, hurt. bro. You're guarding the scene only <laughs> over there. Dude, that's the worst, Sail route man. only, son. Does that happen in you guys' cultures where you sleep wrong in your neck? Oh, you get this thing in your neck? It's ever? a very white yeah. thing. Oh, really? Yeah, all the time. Oh, wow. Really? That was more of a white thing. Why would it be a white thing? I don't white know. White people can't have everything. White Come people on, just now, wake bro. up. <laughs> <laughs> well, white people just wake up stiff. Yeah. White people wake up stiff. Yeah, man. I think white people like wake up man. <laughs> stiff. <got> Jeeps. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah, we do have Jeeps. Yeah, Jeeps. We do have classic cars. <laughs> We have Jeep, classic cars. Bro, there's tons of shit Aerosmith. we don't have, dude. What? There's tons of stuff that white people don't have. Oh, my I God. I just thought that I I thought that P- Vietnamese or mm-hmm. Asian cultures would have, because you always see them being more like the people that handle body. Like, if I go get a good massage, it's always mm-hmm. from like someone. Yeah, you want like, Asian. Yeah. I want my s- massage like I want my sushi. I want 100%. Japanese people making it. I feel like Asian people are really good at taking care of other people, but yes. not themselves. Oh. That's why we wake up mm. stiff. See, do you wake up stiff or do you have like a, a remedy, a, a, a fucking organic like remedy that you can make out of honey and like wasabi? Yeah, and hibiscus or something. Yeah, that'll help my neck out. I could see, yeah, I could see Asian people just getting up and just beating each other with freaking hibiscus trees. Mm-hmm. Little chopsticks Until they're beautiful, on my back yeah. Like this. <laughs> she might back like a bonsai tree, son. Just <laughs> Dude, you would definitely be a baritone. You got that baritone. No, we're a couple of bonsais, bro. <laughs> Are we? Yeah, I want to cut, no, cut your fucking jacket off. I just want to cut the sleeves off, dude. Snip, snip. No, let them have it. It's a good jacket. You yeah, did that. Yeah, that jacket. Damn. Uh, I pa- need a hey, Patagonia? I don't even know how I would look in it. Patagonia, though. very white. Very white, yeah. <laughs> the whitest. You only get that REI. I want some Patagonia, too. Okay. Rock climbing, very white. Really? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of black rock climbers, aren't no, there? No, there's not. How do you know, Brendan? Oh, really? Yeah. Going to, going to REI. <laughs> Can we look up black going rock Going to REI climbers? and play fucking Little Wayne. Let me know how it goes for you, man. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. No one climbs a Little Wayne or what? <laughs> no, man. No, they're climbing a journey in Boston. <laughs> Take me home tonight. I don't want to get the Can you look up black? Um, Can we look our... Sorry. Can we look up... Uh, can we look up black rock climbers haven't or African seen Hope rock so, uh, Haven't you seen Solo, the best rock climber of all time? The dude did it without a rope. Oh, here we go, right here. Well, look at well, that. well <laughs> yeah. Well, if you Google black rock climbers, you're only gonna get black rock climbers, man. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, this guy actually, I think, is running from white people. Actually, dude. <laughs> I don't think they. If you panned out on this photo, <laughs> he's running the same. Yeah, 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 this guy looks like. <laughs> Oh, brothers are climbing. There we go. Yeah, brothers are climbing. <laughs> Represent and reach, it says in the article. I wonder if no. that's a, oh, is that an organi- organization? No, or no that's a new Jordan Peele movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> brothers are climbing. Yeah. You could tell when I saw that coming when Brendan put it in the in, in the chamber. Yeah, he knew it was going to be fire. Right? Yo, I <laughs> Brendan even straightened his back a little before he served that one, bro. That was good. That's that Pete Sampras, dog. He's looking... <laughs> Yeah, dude. Waiting like in the th- this is me yeah. in the tall grass. <laughs> I'm that thick, greasy fucking tiger in the tall grass. Yeah, let's let's click on some of these pictures though. There's one with the um there yeah, that guy. Oh, there we go. That's, That's a white, white guy. White. Rock climbing. Uh, yeah, black rock climbing or black uh Your ass would be a problem for that rock climbing, dude. It's yeah, I'm yeah. back heavy. Mm. I'm more like a, <laughs> Oh, I'm built like a bookend. Uh, fuck someone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm about. Get that like. caboose, dog. Oh, dude, yeah. Can that caboose up the mountain. Dude, look at this guy right there. Wow, yep. Jack City. Dude, Jerron Horton is a uh, good rock, rock climber. Yeah, Jerron Horton, uh, Preacher Lawson, he does it too. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they go it's to the happening, spot by dude. my house. It All happens. Right. That's why I do the show, I'm going to start doing That's it. why I have a culture nice. corner. It's the a wrap. You, know. you would be... You're pretty. You're, you're heavy too. I feel uh, like you could back flip, back flip up the goddamn mountain. I probably could if I wanted. to. Yeah, but I feel like a. Uh, is, is there a lot of Asian rock climbing? There probably is. I could see that being. Yeah, yeah American Ninja yeah. Warrior. They I, have that show. Yeah, absolutely. The Apple Store. Sometimes you gotta climb a mountain to get to school in China. Damn, that's true. Yeah. Whoa, what is this? It's Jerron Horton's Instagram. With your books. I was looking for some rock climbing. Who's this? Jerron Horton. 
John Horton. Oh. Yeah, he's a comedian. Oh, there he is, Rock Climb and Go Down. On the one more, two, a little more, a little more right there on the right. Yep. There he is. Oh, that's indoor, though. That's that REI. But I went with him, but still, I think he could probably do it outdoors, too, if he was outdoors. You never know till you get out there and try it, you know? That's true. It's like practice. Watch him, though, dude. We're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. <laughs> practice. Practice. Yeah. Look at him. It does he, look fun. I mean, he's tall, he's too. He's long, man. Long and lanky, that's he perfect. He gets up there like it's nothing. Yeah. He'll go up there and do nothing. He'll go up there and have a lemonade or something. <laughs> Go up there and make lemonade. Yeah. Lemonade stand only get two freaking customers. <laughs> He'll be up climb there. up there. Yeah. Dude, and he got a strong mouth. Too. I saw him at one point, he would just onto the wall oh, like that and the then wall. move the rest <laughs> like of a, his like body a sucker around. Fish? Yeah. Remember the sucker fish? And he had a tank as a Bro, kid? Unbelievable moves coming out of Jerron Horton right there. The sucker fish, the real MVP when you think about it. Because oh, if you just yeah. get two of them, they clean the tank for you. You don't need the filter system. Dude, and imagine you're a couple fish. You're at a bar hanging out, dude. Your wife's out of town, right? And two of these bad <laughs> bitches roll up. These sucker what they fish. Do, bro. Just... <laughs> yeah, dog. Dude. You know, you one of your boys is gonna. Your one of your boys is gonna feel it out. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. How was Canada, on, eh? Oh, Canada. We were was both great. in Canada. We were a couple of maple we even... leaf house. Yeah, what? <laughs> What's up? Or, or good, or just men. Yeah, uh, or, yeah. Just, or just men in Canada. <laughs> Dude, I love Canada, man. Me too. Love it. I can move there. Oh, so easily. I stayed at that Trump hotel. You did on accident. Yeah. Really? That shit was badass, though. Is it? Nobody's there. You have the whole place to yourself. Uh, uh-uh, uh, really? You ever seen Blank Check? Remember that little kid that had that giant crib to himself and just mm-hmm. did whatever he want? That's what I felt like. But I'm 36. Damn. Yeah, it's sick. probably a write-off, though, for Trump anyway, I bet. I don't know. I don't know. There was but nobody there, really? I was the only person staying in the hotel. Whatever I wanted, they f- f- five-star service, man. Nobody in the restaurant. Six-star. The, co- the, co- the other comics kind of roasted me for staying there. Whatever, dog. Oh, stay where you want, man. I stayed at a place in um, Toronto. And what was going on there? Did you see Drake there? I didn't see Drake. Mm-hmm. But people were talking about him a little bit. Were you running through the six? I think I was for a little bit. I jogged for a little. It was real cold. That though. counts. Yeah. Stayed at Trudeau Towers. Trudeau Towers. Trudeau Towers. Yeah, I stayed that's, at Trudeau that's Towers. That's the prime minister I went chocolate face, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but his daddy snuck him into it. That's how he got into it. That's what I heard on the DL. His daddy got him the job. Oh, really? Yeah, Trudeau. Yeah, he, he did blackface, and they thought that he was going to lose his job. But he did of... Aladdin face, dude. And let's go. We have a culture corner. Let's go. Let's get the download on that. We have a problem is... with the Aladdin face? Alad- I mean... Cause he, <laughs> y'all just put a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> well, you're the. That's a, right. I mean, we can't ask ourselves. I'm not dude. offended. <laughs> yeah, um, dude, if we, if you ask us, we're fine. With oh, it. that's not Aladdin face. That's that straight is up not Aladdin face. face. Bro, but he's Aladdin. It's, I mean, it's just he's Aladdin. He also tried. He just went with the wrong tone. He also. Yeah, well, you never know. Maybe they're out of the brown. Also, <laughs> some it's tough Bro, to get the brown. I've never seen anybody that out of the brown. Can we click on the? Can we get the picture larger? Here's the problem. They're looking at me with those maple hoes up top left. Hey, but here's the thing. He said he was in high school at the time. Ain't nobody buying that. But all of Canada bought it. I mean, he's not in high school. Look at those guys with beards. Look at people are boys. tall in Canada, bro. People so, are tall. Wait, in high what, what, what is what is the this? Is a, con- it's a costume party, and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna go as whatever, like a, what a, a, a Javar." He, he said Aladdin. He went for as Javar. But those are his homies. Javar. Yeah, those are his boys. I think Apparently, he went as Javale McGee. Actually, apparently, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently he's in eighth grade. There, that's he said he was said. in eighth grade. That don't look like that's a big Young. ass eighth grader. But guys, we're not. Look, whether you guys are pedophiles or not isn't the question. Yeah, yeah. The question <laughs> here is whether or not the guy is. And here's here's the question for the culture corner. Me and Theo have no issue with it. Yeah. Well, I have issue with some of it. If you go, I like to. If you're gonna go, like, kind of like. I feel like you should be able to impersonate your favorite characters. Like, say, if you like like Luke Cage or something, you know, and you're a kid and you want to be Luke Cage, but you can't, mm-hmm. you know. But if you're like dressing up like a black person to be mean or dressing up like an to Asian make fun person, of them, yeah, yeah, dude, then that's fucking crazy. I mean, yeah, it, everything comes with, the, I think, it's the intentions, man. You he know went, what I mean? full, like, he I went mean, full Aladdin. Yeah, well, he even you, dipped his hands in something. Yeah. And, that, I think he went too dark, though. I feel like he used even squid or something. I don't know what he used <laughs> to die Squid Again, I'm going to give him a little bit of a pass. Cause this is tough to get that. Oh, Who's Carl that? Malone? That's J- Jimmy Kimmel as Carl Malone. He was so funny as Carl Malone. Was he? It was so fucking funny. See, this Couldn't is much today. better makeup. You get fired today. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, I mean, it, it's definitely, I think it's hit or miss, really. It's it's so hit or miss. I don't, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like. I, High risk, low reward. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah Come yeah. up with better costumes. Jimmy Kimmel shit was funny, though. A uh, little fact about Carl Malone. He was the mailman. means he would drop loads and girls and then be like, oh, you have a kid? Peace. I'm out. Really? Yeah. A mailman didn't follow up with his kids. Really? Whoa. One of his kids yeah. plays, uh, is it two of his, seven of his kids, I think, play <laughs> basketball. <laughs> No, play football for Georgia. <laughs> yeah. He plays football for Georgia, but he doesn't know his daddy. Really? Mm -mm. He has a daughter that I think played great ball. He played out there at Louisiana Tech. That's I right. Think. He's a Louisiana boy, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where he's from? Yeah. yeah he's dropping them packages off in your girl and then just not following up. Was he? Yeah. I, think, I thought he got the nickname playing basketball. No. <laughs> no, the mailman. Did wow. you call him the stork? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> the stork. <laughs> Or that semen pigeon. Good player, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> he was pretty good. What else were we talking about out in the lobby, I felt like? Oh, you're talking about uh, Wilder. Oh, oh yeah. 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 What a fight, huh? What a fight. Well, not really. Not much of a fight. What a beatdown. <laughs> I can't believe Wilder didn't put up a better fight. Me too. I know. I was so disappointed. And then today he came out and was like, oh, it's because I wore that costume that weighed 40 pounds. <laughs> I was like, God damn it, dog. Dude, that's some bullshit. That's a Mardi Gras costume, dude. <laughs> <laughs> People ride nine hours in that thing on the back of a parade float. And then and, 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 and party off to the wee hours of the morning. Yeah, and, and get dance home and breastfeed night. a child. Yeah, yeah dance fine. all night and get pregnant. It does look heavy, but. I'll give him that looks heavy. He was kind of like, damn, what should I go with? Kind of like <laughs> Shredder meets Lord of the Rings. Like, it's so ridiculous man he looks like a dude who gives who gives a ton of oil changes but is not good at giving oil changes <laughs> <laughs> like all right i'll go back in there <laughs> you know what about this though i felt like watching the big guys fight it doesn't seem like they hit each other that when you're watching it it seemed like they don't hit each other as hard as when i'm watching the like the featherweights fight and stuff yeah, trust me man no one hits harder than those two big fellas you think yeah hell yeah, yeah. he's bleeding out of his goddamn air he yeah. got fucking punched in the face. Oh, Started bleeding out of his hair. That would hurt, man. God, what a bummer, though. I'd be so upset. And you can't call a timeout, can you? No, there's no timeout. You can throw in the towel if you want to hit the locker room, though. You should get at least a timeout. Yeah, that'd be nice. And that man licked his neck, too, dude. Yeah. That shit. That boy's wild. I ain't talking about Wilder. That boy's wild. Uh, Fuck. Crazy, huh? Yeah, I can't believe they went at it like that, though. But I wonder if they knew. It almost makes you wonder too. They if he had a D, he had a thing in his contract for a third fight. Yep, that's the way boxing works. Then did that? But did also Fury have it if he wanted a third fight? Yeah, uh -huh. the, the loser did. That, the, oh, the, only the loser. The loser gets to decide oh, the loser if gets the rematch. It. Yeah, because they're both coming in as world champions. That's oh. what you doing in boxing. But also, like, I'm not trying to see that fucking. I'm, I'm good, man. Yeah. It wasn't a fight. I'm it, the first one wasn't a fight. This one definitely ain't a fight. I got to do it a third time. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, boxing. You just mm. need Wilder to come out without trunks, just completely naked, so he's fresh. Yeah. Right. I would love that. <laughs> the entrances were pretty dope, though. It definitely, everything's starting to get all WWE. I'm telling you, everything is turning what WWE. Fear, They've been doing that for a hot second. He came out on a uh, carried out like a. Was, oh shit! With some hoes, these tits in the front, dude. Really? Tits in the front, tits in the back. Mm. Yeah, you can't see the girls, but he had some like straight up Mortal Kombat hoes, Katrina in the front. <laughs> it's Katana, not Katrina. Oh my bad. I was, I, <laughs> yeah, bro. I was thinking New Orleans. Oh, he had that beautiful. He had his wife or something with him. I think. Wouldn't he have a wife out there? Yeah, she's all up in the camera. Wife. She's all up in the camera. Huh? What's going on? Cat's still single. What's up with you, Cat? <laughs> Still single. Okay. Still hanging in there. Okay. Just doing the damn thing, man. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you set her up with someone, Brendan? Uh, cause all my friends are batshit crazy, man. I don't want to see her, you know, go through that. <laughs> you know, I'm being a good friend by not setting her. Well, up. I respect that. Do you know any friend oh, you would damn. set her up with? <laughs> do you know what you have in, name in our circle? <clears throat> do you have <clears throat> Nick or Chin? Taken, taken, <laughs> dude. Taken, taken. <laughs> And Nick uh, doesn't have a car, so I can't do that. Yeah, but a tree Cat fell needs on wheels, it. bro. <laughs> Cat needs wheels to get That's around. good luck in Asian culture, dude. Mm -mm, bad luck. Uh oh. <laughs> you don't have a car right now. So I Maybe can't little Gianni, the twink that works over at this past weekend. He's too small. He's too much of a twink. She likes an older man. Yeah, that's true. I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, I'll see what I can do, Cat, but none of my friends are going to work. <laughs> what about, um... <laughs> what else you got? What about one of the Sklar brothers? <laughs> oh, you have to date both of them. Do you really? Yeah, and Kat doesn't. It's too much. Yeah. And they constantly run jokes on you all the time. 
Yeah, that's true. They run trains and jokes on you. Oh. <laughs> do you. Do you know what they look like? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, bro, don't just set it up if you don't know what they look like. They run trains, <laughs> jokes, and talk <laughs> sports with you nonstop. That's good so it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Would you ever date twins, Kat? Oh, and there they are, definitely back in Canada. Maybe if most of their personalities add up to one. I can't do two, like, whole personalities. Maybe, like, two halves. Like so that. it's still, like, one person. We know it'd be dope, Cat. Like, say, like, maybe the guy has, like, some mental issues, uh-huh. but he's a great time when he's not depressed. And the yeah. other one, you know, has the same. So switch you can on switch and off. off. Like, oh, how you feeling yeah. this morning? Ah, oh, no, I'm down. All you right. jump over to Jerry. Oh, yeah. how you feeling? Good. And then next you Tuesday, oh, I'm down. Jump over to Bob. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And ba-boom, ba-boom, that ba-boom, might be the move. Ba-boom. I like that. Something to think about, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, definitely, man. Oh, that's a police siren. <laughs> What's up, dog? I love my cats. Well, we're trying to afford a nicer area for the studio, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like were. it a little hoodie, dog. <laughs> Look, man, do you see? <clears throat> Sorry, I got the, <clears throat> I get the black lung. You do? Oh, I you don't ne- feel great, dude. Oh, then I know what will help. I know exactly what will help. You need to get that green lung, baby. Uh, the green lung? You need to get that planter's fasciitis, bro. Oh, damn. Dog. Heavy on the plants. Do I take a bunch of pills or do I shove cabbage <laughs> down my throat? <laughs> nah, dude. You're so old-fashioned. I know. You do athletic greens, man. For I have, They're in my body right now. If Honestly, dude, if a bunch of sunflowers fly to my face, fully grown, that's because they hatch. You're glowing, you, dude. I feel like I'm glowing. It's because of athletic greens. It's the ultimate daily all-in-one health drink with 75 vitamins, minerals, and with whole food sourced ingredients. You, it's, you smell like steamed broccoli, though. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Because I'm trying to pick up a vegan. <laughs> Look, man, enough of all the multiple pills, uh, all the complex routines, people shooting uh, you know, squash enzymes into their uh, butt. It's crazy. It makes sense. It doesn't, man. It doesn't make Ath- sense. Athletic Greens does it all. It has prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, adaptogens, superfoods. Yes. Even Krypton. Yeah, dude. It'll, if you, it'll give you your one-stop shop for everything you need to feel like you're vitaminated out of the gate. And it's a powder form. I just put in some water and... Yep, right down Daily the hatch. Greens. Right in the morning. I get up. I put mine in a glass. Yeah. I put a scoop. I throw one ice cube in there. Dude. Mix it up, dude. dude and then I take it down doing, the hatch. man? I get my antidepressants with it. Oh, really? Half a Chantix, bro, and I'm ready to go, Dang, son. I'm out. Dog, what, a, what a routine, oh, dog. Let's go. If you're taking a step towards a healthier lifestyle or you're an athlete, whatever you're doing, man, you just want to be better, Athletic Greens takes the guesswork out of everyday good health. Why not just try it? Jump on over. AthleticGreens.com slash Kate. ATS yep. and claim the offer today. 20 free travel packs valued at 79 bucks with your first purchase. That's athleticgreens.com slash K A T S. They are great. Oh, well, look, I love HelloFresh, dude. I just used it the other night. Really? Look, I got to tell you, man. Hello, Fresh. Dude, yeah, that's a, uh, it's a lot of, yeah, a lot of gay men use it as their stripper name. <laughs> Hello Fresh. Oh yeah, you seen that little twink Hello Fresh? Oh, he out there. Oh, that boy nice and that Paul. Oh, he out there. That's why we went, "Hey, do you want Hello Fresh to the crib?" I went, mm, "I'm good." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. And he went, "No, dude, it's I'm talking about It's boxed meals, man. Uh, it's boxed meals. Different I, type of meat." Oh yeah, different type of meat. I just did the one the other day. I did the pork tacos and they were really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but still. The pork tacos. <laughs> Still, it's a different type of meat, man. Well, it is. Hello Fresh's recipes are delicious. It's the breakout of that dinner rut that you've been waiting for. They have 22 seasonal wow. chef curated recipes each week. So you can go online, you can pick your recipes you want to come. They come to the house in the box. They Unbelievable. Got, yep, they got the meat, they got all the items and the recipe. Dude, and whatever diet you're on, low calorie, vegetarian, family friendly, or just want to stay thick, we got you covered. Mm-hmm. Hello they, Fresh cuts out all the stress of meal planning, preparation. Don't worry about it. All of it takes less than 30 minutes, some even 20 minutes to get that hot food right to your stupid pie hole. Get that hot mouth hitter, baby. And that's what I'm telling you right now is that you can handle it, man. And it's a great thing if you want to do something with a youngin. If you got a neighbor, a youngin, a senior citizen, you got a friend that's about to die or something, you guys want to do a -a make-a-wish meal or something Mm -hmm. together. Hello Fresh is that opportunity. He said, "Hey, come here. Here's the directions. Let's do this together. Let's make something together. Let's and make let's, something special. And let's maybe you got that fat friend who stays thick and you're like you want some 
yummy sides, maybe a dessert. How about you want some garlic bread to wash down that thing of spaghetti? Yeah. How about you want some cookie dough down your yeah. stomach? Yeah. Let me, why don't, let we, me, got, we can do that, too. Let me beat you in the neck with a sack of freaking warm poblanos. You What's feel me? What's up, bro? You can change your order as much as you want online. You can figure it out. Skip a week if you need to. HelloFresh is what is going on. It's the best value. It's delicious, all right? And right now I'm telling you that if you go to HelloFresh.com slash 10cats, that's 10-K-A-T-S, and use the code 10-K-A-T-S for 10 free meals. Ooh. Wow. Man. Including free shipping. Dang, that's a great deal. Wow. Go to HelloFresh.com. Dot com slash 10 cats. Yep. And use code 10 cats for 10 free meals, including free shipping. You're going to love HelloFresh. What are you going to say, Nick? I was just going to say that Siren means it's time for Cat's Battle Rap. We oh, <laughs> what's up? No, ain't nobody beating little bro, son. <laughs> we keep going through it. Wait, we got more rap coming in? We do. Wait, what else? There was one. Sorry, Nick. There's one other thing oh. we were talking about Quaden? outside. Quaden? Oh, yeah. Quaden Bales, the kid. Remember? Who? Oh, Who? the nine-year-old boy. His the name nine Quaden? Year old. Oh, the little with that Brad Williams helped, and then yeah. Wolverine also helped out. Yep. Yeah. What about him? They were saying uh, he's so he really is nine. Apparently, he's nine. A lot of people have conspiracy theories saying that he's actually eighteen. Oh God, come and on! I read a DM somewhere saying that he is actually the bully in his school and that he's the asshole kid. Mm. Give him. A, I don't know. Give him a break, dude. Right? Yeah. Give of course, he's not waking up fucking happy all the time. You know. Mm. He's a beautiful kid. He looked like my sister. Actually, he looked like one of my sisters a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He's a cute little boy, man. Yeah. He's and he's nine years old. They said. Yeah. There's a lot of conspiracy theories. He definitely dressed real swagged out. Yeah, he doesn't dress like a nine year old, does he? Mm -mm. I think mm -hmm. he was an influencer, or he was nine years old, but he was also like already somewhat of an influencer. Like I don't know if he was getting bullied. He seems like he's living pretty well. I mean, influencers trade, get but, bullied. True. Well, <laughs> well, just just Fair. just because he's an influence and he's fucking selling Fashion Nova on the side, you know, kids are gonna be mean to someone who looks like that, man. It's unfortunate, but that's mm -hmm. just what it is. Also. If I had that condition, I'd be an asshole too, dude. Would you? <laughs> oh my God, the worst. <laughs> I don't know, man. Dick to everybody, dude. I'd wake up pissed. And Would I'd have you? a stick and I'd hit everybody in the knees. <laughs> so you oh could feel my gosh. pain just for a second. Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn, Brendan. You talk to, do you, get, you, do you talk to a therapist or anything? About this? Yeah. No, I haven't. But I'm also, right. I also don't have that. You don't you know? have that. So I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I could see you being a little guy, man. <laughs> I feel like you were a little guy and somehow just grew yeah, into a big yeah, guy. Yeah. You still have the butt, the face, the hands. You smell Very weird. Similar, yeah. <laughs> I definitely kind of look like this yeah. kid a little bit. Look like you have tater tots in your pocket. I wish we could. Uh, yeah, I wish we could get it. Get, get to interview him and to see what he, you know, what he's like. But he's also nine years old. Yeah, there's not. The What's conversation's in, not gonna go real deep. You ever, know? First of all, most nine year olds are complete assholes. They don't if you've been around a nine year old. I mean, they're good. You know, they'll come in and eat. Yeah. And, after that, <laughs> and then dip out. <laughs> Unless you got a fucking Nintendo or something. They're out, dude. Oh, dude. They're looking they for one thing only candy and games. Yeah. They're basically just thoughts, bro. It's like a lot of these thoughts. A lot of these there. Instagram hosts. Same way, man. Unless you yeah. got candy and dick, they ain't into it. They out. Yep, they out. But yeah, this boy, he looks like a. Yeah, they had people. There was a lot of conspiracy theories. He was 18. People like. um Put him into like different scenarios. People even made videos of him being like older and stuff. It was pretty crazy. Damn. And so it's a Internet's real conspiracy crazy. theory that he's not nine. He's actually twenty nine. It's nope. a real conspiracy theory, but there's no evidence behind it. Yeah, I'm sure they could solve all of it just doing a video inside his class. I he's like, some... they should do a video of him with all his friends. All his friends all at once go, "Fuck you." <laughs> yeah. He's in fourth grade. I talked to someone who. It was like firsthand knows Quaid and I can't say who, but he said he's 100% nine years old. They don't know about the rest of it, what kind of life he's living, but he's 100% nine years old. Poor dude, and man. Justin Wren put out a post too, like, because he's all anti-bullying and stuff. He he confirmed it too. He's nine. Don't, now, don't give Justin any ideas. He'll ship him to Africa now. <laughs> Will he? Oh, yeah, he loves Africa. He's always in Africa. He'll ship him to Africa, have him digging wells and shit. Mm. You think you want that life, man, but Justin have you working, bro. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Shout out to Justin Wren and the funds and stuff he does. I don't know who that is, but that's amazing. <laughs> he's a huge fan of you. Is yeah. he? Yeah. yeah, he's the best. Mm -hmm. He's a great, great dude. I gotta check him out, man. Yeah, man. Um, 
yeah, I can't imagine him having like a being like such a little guy. I don't. I mean, it would be probably really interesting though. But yeah, when you're that age, man, that would be the toughest age because kids are just picking on you so much. Dude, man. They, they bully even normal looking kids. Let alone oh, this yeah. little dude, man. We had a kid that was like good at like doing a, uh, electronics or something. Or no, he did karate, and we fucking <laughs> and we ripped into him, bro. And you and you knew he could kick your face off. Yeah, you know he has that fucking ox kick with that fat ass, the backwards kick. He would do kicks all the time, dude. He would like he'd get enraged and then he would threaten to kick everyone and he would do a couple of kick routines. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And we're like, all right, all right, all right, all right, too much. Too yeah, much. people just got like freaked out by the energy of it, you know. See, my school was different, man. We had a kid with uh, Touch of the Downs, and um, he was that's a band, also. Was, yeah, Touch of the Downs. Yeah, no, that's System of Downs. Oh, you're right. No, there's also Touch the Downs. And you know, Chappelle used to listen to it, dude. Or you know, Darkwing Sha- Derek, as a lot of people are calling <laughs> Dark him. <Wing> Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Dark I just made that up, but <laughs> and blamed it on other people, but. <laughs> Like, damn, dude. Did Derek go on fucking like, vacation? Like, damn, did you go to Jamaica? Yeah. <laughs> you go to Jamaica and come back? I'm just joking, man. Also, so good. did Derek get hair transplant? His hair's way better these days. <laughs> you don't look yeah, like a Derek. Puerto Rican Barry Larkin anymore. <laughs> Derek's hair had more of like a matte finish. <laughs> yeah. I'm just joking, man. Uh, Dark wing Derek. But I can't. Dark wing Derek. <laughs> Everybody That's a got, shirt, by the way. Everybody, <laughs> dark green yeah. duck with his fucking face. Everybody probably got picked on for something. Would you go? Would you guys get picked on if you're if there, if there was anything? Mm, I don't feel like I ever got picked on in school. I got picked on at home mostly, and then I would pick on people at school. You mm. take it out the frustration at oh, home. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Everyone in my family were assholes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's how you show that you love them, though. Kids just don't really get it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, and you're in uh, just in your family. That's how it is. Yeah. What about were, uh, yeah. were you bullied at all, Chappelle? Uh, yeah. I mean, for being the black dude that listens to punk and skates and shit like that. Yeah, was, that's fair. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. The only thing people didn't pick on me for was cheerleading. No. Out of all the things all you the think things, that's what you get roasted yeah, on, it's because they don't the, understand it and they see you doing all these fucking backflips. Yeah, like, they saw Jesus all the flips Christ. and they were like, "What the?" Fuck? They were just yeah. like blown away. But Too like, much. Bro, listening to fucking Oasis, to, they're like, yeah. <laughs> One Green Day song that ruined it all, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Like I said, there, there's a kid with Touch of Downs in my school, and I always pick them first. When we pick teams, we always pick because you're stronger than everybody. Mm-hmm. You just had that fire in them. You can just mm-hmm. hand them off the ball, but good luck tackling Rodney, dog. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> can tackle him. We called him Big Red, actually. Y'all did? Yeah, he also had red hair. And literally the fattest ass you've ever seen. Oh, he yeah. was like Maurice Jones Drew. We couldn't tackle him, dude. Yeah. I picked him first every time. Shout yeah, they, out to Big Red. They should have. I'm trying to think if we uh, if we had. I mean, we definitely had some wildcats growing up, dude. We had a Did guy. You had that older guy? Bucket. Yeah, we had a guy who was at our school <laughs> for so long uh, that they just made him a janitor at one point. Yeah. But he still carried a book this bag. This dude, Mr. Larry, yeah. And he I was still in class with him. still carried a book bag? Yeah. Huh? Yep. Uh, he carried a bunch of shit, but everybody called him Mr. Larry at a certain point. And he, his big thing was when you were at the urinal, because he, he, you know, he was in fifth grade, he was probably 17. So he'd come in behind <laughs> you and piss over you into the urinal. And then watch you pee? Uh, no, he wouldn't watch you pee. He would just kind of be behind you. He'd be like, oh, what is that? You know? like, damn, there's Larry. Yeah, Mr. Larry. Mr. Larry, get your dick out of my face. But, um, dude, I, I had a, I had a, what buddy. else? And this kid named Bucket all the time. It's all he ever said was Bucket. Buckets? Yeah. But was he like a dope basketball player? No, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Buckets. He, he was like, all right, dude, we're not even basketball. No, he had full body hair early. Oh, and it's always tough and on he'd the be kid. like, Bucket. Not, he just say Bucket. Bucket. Oh, bucket. No, bucket. Just nonstop talk to himself, Bucket. Bucket, yeah. Was he also a janitor? No. He which would have been, bucket. I know, would have been perfect. Dude, I, I had a, a buddy who was in fifth grade. His name was Brandon. Mine was Brendan, right? They call us double Bs. And he, oh, my and, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
<laughs> First of all, uh, dude, double right B's, there. bro. Double B's. Double so check B's, it out. Bro. Me and double B's, we're, we were we always hung <laughs> out nonstop, right? I'd share my Dunkaroos, my Capri Sun, <laughs> my orange slices, Lunchables, even my oatmeal <laughs> pie. That's how much me and him were friends. I love oatmeal pies, but I would share half of it with him. And then he, I remember I'd make fun of him because he'd always pee and he'd pull his pants. You know, that when you were little, you pull your pants all the way down? Oh, yeah. Well, he still did in fifth grade. Mm. So I used to grab my pee and shake him, right? Shake him. <laughs> oh, yeah. And pee would just go everywhere. Yeah. I thought it was so funny. But then apparently it was a real problem. <laughs> and over the intercom system, they're like, hey, who's ever peeing on the walls? We're going to catch you. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to catch you. And you're going to be dealt with accordingly. I was like, oh, shit, that's not good. Dude, I think Double B, uh, I think you guys designed this room. <laughs> 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 now, you, now you know where I get my inspiration from, dude. I think Double B. Yeah, that's on your side, yeah, bro. That's on my side. Me and Double B pieced this thing up, dude. But I got caught because he was doing it again, and I and I was like, God, oh, whatever, it's not a big deal. And I shook him, and a teacher came in, dude, grabbed me by the hand, the whole Ooh. school. Oh, there's the PP King. <laughs> Took me by everybody. The PP King. <laughs> No press Dude, is bad press. Nobody was thinking. All the kids loved me, man. Nobody was thinking. PP King. PP King. <laughs> no. P.S. All. Yeah. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> and there's four kids, though. Dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, sometimes you just spark these memories in me, dude. Let me hit this. That's why I do this show, dude. I haven't hit that in a while. Dude, we at our school, they had a heater, a furnace in the bathroom, and so kids would go in there and urinate on it all Hell the time. Yeah. And that was like the big thing to do. If you had a bunch of piss in you, to go in there and just unleash it on that hot furnace, and it would just steam up the whole bathroom. It's a sauna, basically. You couldn't see, yeah. So you'd have a bunch of kids just wandering around just in like in piss mist. That you urine know? sauna. Oh, dude, yeah. And so... They then they had to have all the boys come into the gym and the, and we had a female principal, Miss McManus, and she said, "Who's doing it? Who's doing it?" And, and some kid just it. admitted to it; he wasn't even doing it. Some kid was just a total wimp. Ah, I can't I it. It. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And people were like, "Damn, you did it, dude!" It actually gave him a little bit of clout, I think. Hell yeah, that's why he did it. Yeah, but it was still fun. People did that forever, man. Just that running through fun, the piss dude. with my woes, bro. Yeah, running through <laughs> piss with my woes. But yeah, yeah, I think the kid looks like a damn uh, child. Yeah, leave that kid alone, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, we do have uh, more submission for cats, ba- cats rap battle, uh, and they're they're pretty fire. Like you said, little Brow's still the champ. Because of that, he might win forever. You think we should retire him? No, no, weeks, no. no you got to bring the heat, man. This is eight yeah. mile. <laughs> this Word. is eight mile. Yeah, this ain't and eight miles. This is eight miles. That, <laughs> this that's, this ain't mile. Mile. This is eight miles. Mile that's cheddar. <laughs> yeah, that's cheddar bomb. Yeah, that's cheddar bomb. You look identical, to cheddar bomb. <laughs> Do I really? Let's bring up a picture. Of him. <laughs> you look like cheddar bomb and Oscar the Grouch had a baby. <laughs> look at the way you're dressed, dude. Yeah. Cheddar bomb shot himself in the <laughs> leg. <laughs> oh, no. You look identical, to cheddar bomb. Like cheddar Holy bomb, shit. dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah, a little bit. A <laughs> little good actor, dog. Oh my God. A little bit, man. Damn. Cheddar Bob in the house, dog. That's all good, dude. No, we just have a similar nose, kind of. Do you guys look identical? There he is. There he is. Damn. <laughs> oh, no. Put a mullet. Hey, put a mullet on that picture. That's Theo, dog. Oh, oh my God. Cheddar Bob. What is that man's name? <clears throat> um, Evan, Evan Jones. Jones. Look at that other picture up, up, up above, right above that one. Yeah, that's you, dog. Fell on hard, hard times. Jesus, dude. That's like Kane Brown. It's like Cocaine Brown. <laughs> Dang, dude. Yeah, shout out Cheddar Bob, dude. I can't believe that. Yeah, I feel no, like that's spot me. Spot on. Yeah, spot on. Cool, man. Good looking uh, out, guys. Yeah, so yeah, we're Eight Mile or Breakfast Club, and you're Cheddar Bob. Let's hear these raps, dog. I don't think we should retire. He's the king, man. You gotta, you have to bring such fire to beat fucking Browse. Fair enough. He'll, he'll be the champion. He's the reigning oh, champ. He could. There's, there's, you think forever? No, there's some fire today. All right. Oh, don't, 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 shit. All right. Don't say fire. Go. Go. No. This guy's got on that king in the sink hey, brim. Please don't too. say fire. It makes <laughs> you feel awkward. Only way to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> this comes from Stephen Lacoste, aka Don. This shit is fire. Don. Don. King and the Sting fam, what's good? Uh, long time listener, love what you boys do. 
Uh, for real, y'all make my day a better Great day teeth. when an episode drops. So, Thanks, uh, salute. Gang. Appreciate y'all. Theo, my dog, Highway 190, Covington, right around the corner in Madisonville, same neck of the woods. Gang, bro. Uh, Mr. Shab, Brendan, see your ass in the Woolens, March 14th. Hell yeah, doggy. Uh, let's get to it. I see everybody sending in their rap shit, so I figured I'd do the same. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's go off 190, <clears> son. <throat> I'm kind of feeling this dude already. <laughs> Is the beat hot, Nick? Is it an original oh, beat? Quiet down, yeah. Brennan. I'm listening. <laughs> gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Cheddar Bob. Culture, culture. It's Theo Vaughn and Brennan Schaub. King and the Sting. Yeah. He's confident, Me. bro. I like, it. I like the hoodie. Thursday woken, cats is loaded. It's showtime, I'm knowing. Theo V and Brendan be on some narcotic potion. Elix a mix and spilling open. This is an explosion. Since so they align, my mind declined and I can't antidote it. I think it's time for Mr. Von the King to channel Hogan and show them how we hawking down inside the land of rodents. Louisiana born and bred, we should funk the floating. Look, I said bread, now look at Brendan, bed, his mouth is open. That boy a glutton, food and bustin', got him losing focus. If it ain't oven stuck with muffins and his pizza folding. If it ain't eating, then it's beaten, bed, his meat is swollen. That's cream deposits, check his office, that's the skeet that's floating. In the bus, slamp a beacon for corrupt fans. I guess that's us, man. Damn, well, fuck it. It's gang, gang, buzz, buzz, till I D.I.E. Don't be touching me, but keep touching me. <laughs> the culture, they some vultures, peep the pedigree. A savage team of headbusters, CTE. Derek <laughs> twisting tree, laughing in the MIC. Nigga fucking G, chin, got the recipe. Great, I said recipe, Brandon thinking sesame. Theo probably thinking mix of deco with his TRT. Beasting, I can't see him losing. Until the day, cast his chill with the dick amusement. It's all for my aunt till you're riding around cruising. And see your faces on a poster for the Me Too movement. <laughs> that shit was so fire, I even danced with my gang, neck buzz, fucked buzz. up like this, though. King and the Sting. Wow. Damn. Damn. Oh, Damn, that shit was pure fire. Dude, I, got I don't some... know. Little Browse has some Trump I sweat tissue. under my mullet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> After that. I got a hockey sm- haircut. <laughs> yeah, mine's hockey too now. Yeah. I, got, yeah. I got that Do sweaty you? fucking <laughs> cherry curl, dog. You got that baby cape, dude. That shit ain't that, shit, what, bro. Dude? You better grow something serious. Dude, come on now. I got them curls, dude. <laughs> you, dude, and, tr- and when I was in Canada, yeah. do not wear hockey helmet in Canada, oh, dude. Really? Oh, I have to have a hockey stick fend these bitches off. Like this. <laughs> Get off of me. Get off of me, man. What up? Is that the only one, Nick? No, no, we got uh, a second contender. God damn, that was Dude, fire. the crazy thing about Don's, I would have to go back and listen again to even get all of it. Me know? too. I, I actually had him send the lyrics to us too, uh, so we can look through those later. But uh, yeah, he's, he's good. But this is a familiar face who also came with some heat. Don Dude, going deep. the Sting Records. Here we go. That's popping. Oh, that's popping with the tat. He's yeah. about oh, to go hard on us for talking about his tattoos. Oh, I can feel it. Black King and the Beast King King. Uh-huh. Oh, he's yawning. Bro. Oh, shit. He's just oh, waking shit. up. He's, he's that waking la- up. That, that lazy Bronson. Yeah. Action Bronson. Discover Brendan when he put him on their back. In the middle of the cage, now you know he's counting stacks. Hopped up on that stage and he started spitting facts. Then he got a couple laughs and he knew it was a rap. Married to the game, he ain't never gonna tap. He's been putting in the reps and it's showing in the stats. Came up in the mountains, now he's chilling on the beach. He spent a weekend on the road and then he's back to doing features. Cut the feel, eating crawfish, speaking Creole. Born up on that bayou, now he's preaching to the people. Started in reality and turned into a fantasy. Never could have dreamed how intense the demand would be. Yeah. in the front, party in the back. A gang that sold out shows, got that monkey off his back. The wave of positivity he spreads across the map. Those little words of wisdom that he drops in Brendan's lap. We love you, dog. We love you for that. Kitty cat looking like a whole snack. Oh. <laughs> Kitty cat. Looking like a whole snack. Chinny chin with that Asian Charles Bronson. Nick looking like Luke Perry in his coffin. Sorry. You're looking like that counselor at the rehab. Is quote unquote been there and done that, guys. But still Luke Perry, Nick. <laughs> Don't ever forget that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Top 10. Retarded big brother. You know 
fucking roofer with Bigfoot Silver disease. Theo's out here looking like the before picture one with before and after meth comparisons. What did he say? He was a great man. <laughs> he said I look like a before and after meth counselor. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I got a dick on my arm. Oh, 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 oh me! Apparently got a dick on my arm. Chewing in the sting. 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 Damn, he's off. That's not me. Their necessity. <laughs> Fucking roll it, buddy. Get back out the coffin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Dang, bro. We were laughing over it, but after he said Nick looks like uh, dead Luke Perry, he goes, no, seriously, Nick, you look like dead Luke Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, these were beastie. And actually, Lil Browse came in. He gave a, uh, do we want to hear it now? He gave a full mixed version of his song. 100%. Right, here we go. Man, this shit is thick Dude, out we here, became, bro. We're, 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 we're a music studio. Thick. We're a music studio. This is audio only, though. <laughs> this yeah. Shit is so hot, dude. The champ. King in the stands. Raining champ. Shout out to the culture corner. Damn. This is that remix. Even though you don't do for what? This is that street mix tape? I saw four. Do this to him, man. Brendan and Theo, fighter and wait. I got to go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think. I am in flow, black rifle coffee, I'm ready to go I need a sponsor, I am a monster About to open up with this at my concerts Flow is contagious, brows are outrageous Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous Damn, hungry like I'm fresh off keto Seeing red like Andrew Santino Every song I hit like the great Bambino Burnin' ate the queso and the queso Ritos Two my DMs, a couple of you tried but couldn't beat them Quit playing like Nintendo DS You don't want the smoke like Joey Diaz Meaning y'all edible, just got my eyebrows threaded And I'm feeling incredible Brennan's son hit me up. He said it's too loud in the club. Can you pick me up? This one I can walk on stage to. Cause the other one didn't have enough bass. Got this one is on a string. Shout out New Orleans and shout out to CO Colorado more specifically Boulder Brendan came in with a chip on his shoulder But it's still gold and yet it's still fire If you don't like King and this thing you're a liar Brendan's got like a thousand different hustles One of them's at Nordstrom Rack doing tires Black Rifle Coffee, we hear you loud and clear Your son on the email like please get me out of here It's way too loud in here Watching the Irishman eating pizza drinking half a beer Now on to Theo Vaughn Looking like the type of dude that tries to read a song Smoking cigarettes with a snap back on About to hit the crib and turn Snapchat on it's all good, we still mess with you 1811 Pico Boulevard, go get that hitter Derek and Kat, y'all doing great Thursday upload, not a minute late Y'all wanted to rap, I had to demonstrate Brand new studio, y'all feeling great Putting Chris Delano in his place Now let's go and get Chinna Day You can't fuck with you can't fuck with little brows, bro. Those other boys were nice, but that dude brings the bangers. I feel like he needs to drop that 97 hot. Well, we need you two to pick a winner between uh, Don Lacoste, the first guy from Covington, and Papa Bear, and then we'll put out to a vote between Austin and our new first guy. guy probably. Well, dude, I gotta say this about Don, straight up, Don. Thank. Uh, I I I I'll have to listen to Don again, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, what just happened? Dude, <laughs> Cheddar Bomb trying to quaden, rap over here, bro. Dude, don't quaid and bails me, dude. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Sorry. Okay, All right, bro. I'll, let, I'll let you finish. Dude, they were so good, they remixed my voice box, bro. <laughs> yeah. <Those dudes. laughs> it was so weird. It was dope, though, man. Also, Austin, <laughs> Lil Browser champ, let, uh, we put him up a vote against Vicious, and he dominated. Dominated. Eighty five percent. He took Vicious in, and Vicious was the guy with the uh, with the kit with the shirt on, right? With the bass too. Uh, Vicious was the guy who had like the screen record, and he had like the waveform around. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. 
I'm telling you, man. Oh, man. Bill Browse just has talent. We son. Don't, all three of the guys got talent, man. The one guy, I love the fact that Don uh, came in. Which one was Don? Big Boy? Don was the first guy. He okay, first guy. Don, he was Papa nice. Bear. I love that Don came in straight out of Louisiana. I love that Papa Bear came in and he, he we had made fun of his tattoo, you had. And uh, you then, did too, homeboy. I thought it was great. <laughs> I, <liked it. laughs> I thought it was good work too. It, it was just I just had some questions. All right, carry on. Bro, you had some questions that ended in exclamation points. <laughs> carry but on. no respect, dude. And he, he he submitted it to get ripped up. But anyway, he came back. He like came back at us. I yeah. thought that shit was fucking pretty gang. That's They're, like Eminem a mile. Like, yeah, it all is. The things. Yeah, mom spaghetti. Mm -hmm. No, it's all great. It's gonna be tough to beat fucking Little Brown, especially with the remix, the street mixtape he made for us. <laughs> I, look, man, I, but the fans aside, but I, I think it's the I love I love Papa Bear. I love everything he did. That was fantastic. I think it's the Don and and Little Brown's obviously. Let the fans decide. Also, I uh, make sure you send me the the remix so I can walk out to it. I think we let the fans decide who is um. All three? Oh, no, who no. should compete against, against Little Browse? Oh, okay. Two votes. Two votes. Or just at least one vote right now. I got to hear it again, man. I can't make a choice immediately. You want to hear it? Not right oh, now. Gotcha. <laughs> I need to hear it later on. I need to hear it when I'm by myself or something. When I've had like a relaxing afternoon. Yeah, we got time. We only do this every couple of weeks, so yeah. we'll listen to it in the meantime. And little brows goes yeah. hard in the paint, dude. He little brows. He about to get a record. Also, dude. their beat and their styles are so different too. The first, the Don had a beat that reminded me a little bit of. Can you can you just put a sample of it up mm -hmm. again? They each reminded me of a different kind of King and the Sting fam. <clears throat> This shit is clean. Yeah. And I think I think that's gang, a strange gang, buzz, thing buzz. for me too. Hawk culture, and culture. So you get points for that. The Steel Vaughn and Brandon Schaub for the good up a little bit. things and hoodie. the sting. Right. Yeah, me. I'm D O N. Look. D O N. Also known as Thursday Don. Woken Cats is loaded. It's showtime. I'm knowing. V and Brandon be on some it reminds me of uh, Helix of mixing still in open. This is an explosion. Bubba Sparks a little bit. My mind, oh, okay. oh. You feel that at all? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. 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 Find the king to channel Spark. Hogan and show them how we hawking down inside the land of rodents. Louisiana born and bred. We should funk the floating. Look, I said bread. Now look at Brandon. Bed his mouth is open. That boy a glutton, food and busting. Got him losing focus. If it ain't bubbing, stuff with muffins and his pizza folding. <laughs> if it ain't eating and it's beating, bed his meat is swollen. That's cream deposits. Check his office. That's the in the bus, slam a beacon for corrupt fans. I guess that's us, man. Damn, well, fuck it. It's gang, gang, buzz, buzz till I die. Don't be touching me, but keep touching me. Culture, culture, they some vultures, peep the pedigree. A savage team of headbusters, CTE. Derek twisting tree, laughing in the MIC. Nigga, fucking G, chin, got the recipe. Greg, I said recipe, Brendan thinking sesame. Theo probably thinking mixing deco with his TRT. Dude, he's hard in the pit. I think it's him and Little Brown. It's a clear winner, man. I love Papa Bear. You're riding around cruising and see your faces on a poster for the That shit is clean, man. It's little brows and him, man. I think we throw up between brows and Don. Or no, okay. between Don and oh, help me out, Nick, please. Papa Bear, Papa, Papa Bear. Bear, and let them decide, and then one of them goes up against brows. Up, it's there. a waste of time. It's just too much for me you, at you once. You do it. It's a waste of time. I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I really am, bro. Me too. That that shit was that a lot of a talent. Lot. I was dancing. A lot of talent, I, man. Damn. What else we got? Uh, let's. That does it for a rap battle. Let's go to. That's sing. a lot of work too, yeah, man. Dude, Shout out good. to those. All those. That's a lot of work, man. What do y'all think? Culture Corner. Let's get into it. What do you Don. guys think? Yeah, Don. I'm gonna go with Don. Oh, oh over. Uh, well, but over home Pop, caterpillar. Papa Bear. Little, over Papa Bear. What about caterpillar? Caterpillar. Or, little brows. Little, little brows. <laughs> caterpillar eyes. Oh, uh, that's hard. Right? Yeah, Can't, that's hard yeah. I didn't see him. Anthony Davis. They call him. Anthony Davis. <laughs> Don said it was a G, and Papa Bear said I look like Dead Luke Perry, and I still like Papa Bear more. Wow, that's a good point. <laughs> It just shows how lovable he is. And here's a lady. Is she going to rap too? No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we haven't had a female rapper, man. I love female rappers. That Dude, shit's sexy. Really? Oh, I love it. A girl can drop some fucking bars. Like who? Like Billie Eilish? <laughs> <laughs> is she legal? Is she of age? Yes, she is of age. Yes, love her. <laughs> I don't like Nicki Minaj. That's what I don't like. Cardi B? Cardi B's okay. Oh, my God. How about Stallion? 
Meg Thee Stallion. Meg Thee Stallion? She spits. She is a stallion. I don't even listen to her music. She's so fucking fun. I haven't heard her. You gotta. You, you don't need to. You just gotta see her. I'm trying to think who else I've listened to that's a female, female rapper. rappers. There's they used not to have Mama Mia. There's a lesbian one named Remy Young M.A. But I feel like she stole Bobby Shmurda's whole thing. Do you remember that? Oh, is that what they were saying? Well, Bobby Shmurda always felt murdered, like that in but, prison. So and as like, soon as he went to jail, Young M.A. came out. Yeah, with popping. all of his Bro, shit. Was, who else are female rappers? Oh, uh, Tech Nine. Tech Nine. No, no, he's not female. No. He's not female. <laughs> he just has braids. Sorry. <laughs> um, Mama Mia Tekashi was an old schooler. Takashi 6 a female. Takashi 6 a female. Dude, we got a free Takashi, dog. That dude was about to get killed somewhere. Oh, he's still going to get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, his colorful ass was hilarious, I it thought. It was dude. hilarious. I, I thought he was funny, too. Clowning everybody all the time. We got to bring him oh, back, Oh, dude, man. Iggy Azalea can get it. Mm, I love her. She's so bad at rapping, though, dude. How yeah. dare you? Well, How dare you? The brat. Uh, the Trina. I know one Iggy song by heart. Which one? <laughs> okay. It's called Pussy. Oh. <laughs> Her original. <laughs> ah, damn, man. Well, anybody, all right. Anybody? This is where, <laughs> oh, this weird. Is where Nick is, <laughs> That's where where Nick is suspended for a week right here. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even know that by let me, let me, heart? Let me talk to human resources. Yeah, you're out about a week, dude. If you want to hear it, I'm hearing something. Yeah. You know it by heart? Yeah. Spit God. it, dog. Pussy, pussy, Iggy. Oh, no. Iggy, Iggy, pussy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe get two, make a two weeks go. suspension. Oh, <laughs> Iggy, Iggy, pussy, Illy. Wetter than the Amazon taste is kitty. Silly, Billy. Pop him, Pilly. Smoke him like a swish. Lick this, Billy. Mold him. Ah, soak him. Ah, hook him like crack after shock. Ah. Uh, Oh, all right, that's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> I, I, I choked. I choked. I choked. No, dude, hold on. <laughs> you know your Bring shit, up. though. T.C. Cheney goes, oh. <laughs> Cheney got nervous. I can't dude. handle it. Chin goes, oh. Chin is turning into a grandpa. Yeah, hey, Nick's been waiting for that moment his entire life. All right, dude. He was like, did somebody, did somebody say Iggy Azalea? <laughs> like, yeah, he's like, it's time. I know a song. It's called Pussy. <laughs> he had this shit ready to go. He's all Iggy, Iggy, Biggy, Biggy, Ziggy, Ziggy. Oh, and then he fucked up. I thought he was getting electrocuted at the end of it. I thought he was having a seizure. I was going to give him some fucking CBD oil. Can we go to the video of the guy? Can we go to the video of Nick rap on that news thing that time? Can we hear the video of Nick rapping so hard? Why would he get serious? He's like, hey, my favorite part is Nick is like, nah, I can't. And I, oh, ziggy, 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 ziggy. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Why did that happen today? Why did that happen? And Chin wants to leave so bad. Oh, my God. I just look over and Chin goes, oh, no. That was hard. Chin's already left. That was hard. Chin was hard. Chin's soul left a long time ago. Oh, that was fantastic, Nick. God, God bless you, God dude. God tries rapping on news. You didn't choke, dude. You did a, you did a pretty good job. I was proud how far you got, man. I thought this would be a total nightmare. Oh, God. Rapping on news. Uh, Alabama rapper attempts freestyle on live TV and freezes on the link. First link. Well, uh, oh, this guy. We're going to do we a spoken word for us now, right? Right. And uh, tell us what we're about to hear. It's just a freestyle. Okay. I'm just going to think it up. As freestyle. I well, let me sit up. back. Go think ahead, Marshall. Okay. <laughs> years ago they tried to Aww. years ago they tried to put me in the <laughs> oh, this is a lie <laughs> did you want to try to read something from your book yeah okay <laughs> And look at the first uh, comment on that video, too. <laughs> you can't blame him. Not after what they tried to do it to him years ago. <laughs> He's just, He's just censoring, the bad censoring out the bad words. <laughs> oh, my God. And then the next one is, years ago they tried to, your, your free trial is over. Please pay $10 to hear the full audio. Oh, Damn, man. Let me see 
it one more time, Nick. Let me see it one more time. Can you turn it on? Going up? to do a spoken word for us now, right? Right. And uh, tell us what we're about to hear. It's just a freestyle. Okay. I'm just going to think it up. As <laughs> freestyle. Up. Well, let me sit back. Go ahead, Marshall. Okay. <laughs> years ago, they tried to... Years ago, they tried to put me in the... Do you want to try to read something from your book? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, shit. That's the greatest thing to ever happen. Oh, That's crazy, man. man. Dude, see, that didn't happen to Nick. Nick showed up. Dude. That's true. Nick showed up. That's what I'm saying. That's choking. Nick didn't choke. That guy had a tough time. There's Nick one part where you can hear, we couldn't hear him, but he goes, this, this is live, huh? <laughs> Dude, it reminds me of the first. <laughs> Let's go to the culture corner. What do you guys think about some of this, man? Jesus, help. What is happening? Oh, man. Will the audience be able to see that video, Nick? Uh, yeah, yes. Oh. That first oh. comment got me. Oh, <laughs> the first comment yeah, got yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is it saying? <laughs> You can't blame him for not. You can't blame him not after what they tried to do to him years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so. I'm doing my stomach's fun. My stomach hurts so bad. And what is that? If that happens in your culture, cat, what are you? What, are, what do you got? What happens? They kill you. <laughs> you got to move to the next village over. We can't have that. You're, you're out, dude. We can't have that. You can't be rabbit early in the movie and just not sing. <laughs> You gotta move to the next village over. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sweating uh, so bad. Are you? Oh, my God. Dude, your sweat. Uh, your sweat smells like soup. Kind of. It smells like minestrone. What are you sweating? Some kind of bisque, huh? Some sort that of, shit. Some sort of au jus. That shit, looks, that shit looks thick, bro. Oh, my God. You guys trying to get a roast beef sandwich again at Jerry's? Or what? Yeah, dude. What's up? Let me just fucking... Dip a little bread in your forehead, bro. <laughs> Fuck, man. Why'd you bring that up? Yeah, that's... <laughs> Nick reminded me of it, Oh, man. my God. No, Nick came with the fire, dude. Mm -hmm. Nick, Nick came yeah. with that heat. Bro, he was bouncing and everything. He was like... <laughs> 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 Nick texts his mom. He's like, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do great. You, you got right. this, honey. Yeah. Just remember. <laughs> Stay calm and... Sweater than the Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Do we want to sing some ink? Yeah, let's sink this girl's <laughs> ink. Yeah, let's sink this girl. Let's sink her good because maybe she'll send in a rap video. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh. This is Claire. Hi, Theo. I'm Brendan. My name's Claire. I'm from Wisconsin. I have some tattoos to show you for Sink My Ink. These are not them. So, uh, here are some of my arm i have two lines oh, there the predator tattoo. and then a thin line on my wrist here it's supposed to be like a fancy glove that i'm always wearing and the one here was just i was just drunk and it's just two lines that my ex-boyfriend did who cheated on me <laughs> so yep those are there forever and um i'll show you this here oh my knee. you gotta hear this um, an igloo that I have a bunch of other girls have it too who are my Eskimo sisters we all have that same igloo there so yeah thank you guys I love you guys gang gang buzz 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 girl <laughs> she a freak she a freak and there's nothing wrong with that so her and her friends all hooked up with the same gentleman and yeah. they have the same tattoo we have a few Eskimo brothers out there in the world it's a, wow. it's a tight fraternity is it <laughs> yeah you talking about Dana White? <laughs> <laughs> I said a few. Oh, my I bad. said a few. Bad, now he might be the top polar bear in that motherfucker. But <laughs> Sorry, I've been. I gotta stay off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Nick obviously favoring this girl because she's out of Wisconsin, and I respect that. But also, uh, 
Yeah, it seemed like she might have an alcohol problem. Though, based on- <laughs> yeah, I, I think she might have some sort of addiction issues. The other thing is, is I don't know if she realized it. <laughs> so ridiculous. I don't know if she realized it though that her uh, her boyfriend was actually drawing the predator uh, sign on her. That's from Predator. Oh, when wow. When the Predator would zoom in on you to kill you, mm-hmm. or when he would, uh, remember when um, he was started laughing at the end? He's all, <laughs> <laughs> at the end of what? Home Alone? You know what I'm talking about? When it's going off, it's going, I'm going to give you a ton of ton of ten. Did I get, get your ugly <laughs> yellow? <laughs> no good keychains off my property. property. One, two, ten. <laughs> <laughs> no, the predator alien starts laughing like that when he's about to blow himself up, and then Arnold's that. running. He's like, "Come on, do it! Kill me! Come on, do it! Come on, do it! Kill me now! Do it!" And then predator's like this: "T t t." No, no one was up. Brandon, you just gave us the whole movie right yeah. now, bro. I'm interested. I'm predator? <laughs> no predator. I'm not watching it now. Oh, I remember that part. That's that. That's her tattoo. The when the numbers are counting down, that's what it is. So yeah, you have the mark of the beast basically, <laughs> yeah. which also shows up in uh, biblical lore. I think you want to look up mark of the be- mark of the beast. I think. Yeah, in, apparently, uh, you know, he cheated on her, but also uh, I like her attitude. She's an Eskimo fellow Eskimo sister, mm-hmm. and uh, she's you know she's down because she let her man draw on her with a fucking tattoo gun. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's true. You cool. got a woman that's really down for you if they do that. She seems great. Seems like a, like a good time. What do tattoos mean in some of the uh, different communities around the world, guys? Mm, I think it de- well for Asians. I feel like it depends. Some I think look like you're a part of the triad, but you're not. And then there are others that just means that I don't. I don't even know. I don't know what Asians do. I can't stop do you have thinking any tattoos, about that Chappelle? guy. Yeah, all mine, are, all mine are punk rock tattoos. You have tattoos. <laughs> Where <laughs> at? I have uh, all on my chest. I have Black Just, Flag, uh, Raw Power, Iggy Pop. Uh, you have a. Bl- you have, I'm so, I, 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 did you say you have a Black Power tattoo? Black Flag. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> right. Raw but then he, Henry Rollins band. But then he did yeah. say Power at the, so I, No, Raw Power. Okay. Yeah, Raw Power. Card. And what is that from a like plant based diet or what is it? <laughs> <laughs> legit question. Oh, it's a legit question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Raw no, Power. Uh, or you just like G Star jeans? No, it's Iggy Pop and the Stooges. It's one of their albums. Oh, right on. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, here's another guy who also went to prison then. <laughs> it sounds like you went to prison in New Hampshire, dude. That's what it sounds like You're based on your tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You went to a friendly prison, huh? Yeah, dude, yeah. You went to, yeah, it sounds like you went to prison. Went in to a, a friendly fight. prison. Yeah. Pleasantville prison. <laughs> this is Nathan from Ireland. Oh, yeah. Hey, Brendan. Hey, Phil. What's up? I thought I'd just send this in some tattoos. So, here's got that chest on there from side to side. <clears throat> got this nice... Lady with a pirate. Got this. Uh, oh, that's me. <clears throat> pirate. I got the lighthouse where my dad passed when I was six, 16. Wow. And this side, you got more of the devil shit. So you got the Grim Reaper header all the way down the arm. And you've got that devil gear in the inside of that. But the best one has to be this. <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, young Here's man. Here's mine. I love that wow. Cookie Monster tattoo. That that uh, she devil had some tits on her, huh? The what? That she devil tattoo like had some one. tits. That was the best work. the 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 pirate got a little dicey. The pi- the pirate it gets a little dicey in the color. It seemed like a variety of artists as well that this gentleman had really you know kind of accentuate his body. Yeah, look at the tits on the red devil there. That's good. Work, oh, was that a though. tit? Yeah, yeah, that's a titty. <laughs> that's a kneecap, isn't it? That's elbow. <laughs> That's his elbow. That's her tit. Mm. Yeah. So maybe place. that's why he put it there so it looks bigger when he mm-hmm. goes like this. Oh, I like that. That's smart. Yeah, huh? Smart. I'm just He's gonna... only got one, though. Yeah, but it's the devil. We don't know what the other side looks like. <laughs> yeah. I could see the devil showing up with one tit. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I knew it. <laughs> his, his chest looks a little uh, like it wasn't that well. Well, we got to sink out. this dude's ink, man. First of all, with this much ink, bro, you're probably. You, also have should have a Hep C. Yeah, she definitely on had you. tested over there. Also, a lot of these tattoos, I feel like you drank gallons of Guinness and then decided to get that thing on your chest. There, that thing on your chest is also a very prisonish tattoo. Yeah, and, sp- and those a, again, a friendly prison tattoo. Yeah, yeah, man, you got a lot of stuff going on too, dude. You also, got make the, up your mind. The devil. You got the beach. You got the lighthouse. You got your whole. You got well, Johnny guess, Depp. Yeah, you got Johnny Depp. Pirates of Caribbean. Yeah. I think you got a lot of uh, 
I think that parrot looks like shit. <laughs> Can we go back to the parrot? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Brendan just well, We're supposed to sink his ink And here's the other thing That's me First of all It looks like me If you look at that one That definitely looks like you I don't know is it in the, I don't know what that With is that fin- When that foam finger at the, When you're at the game <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> oh Okay He's probably at a soccer game Has the tooth below Oh yeah That's cool uh, Scroll up to that Shit pair Oh that pair does Look older that... <laughs> Looks like it's older Than some of the other pairs Ooh that chick is hot With that bird though With the What, what do you call that A Brazier, yeah, man, with them front tits, or that's just a really shitty Johnny Depp tattoo. Can't tell. Um, oh, oh that oh. shit is fire. That shit's dope. Damn, a little sexy devil. That's yeah. good work. This is the same guy. Yeah. Oh wow. damn, he went. He, he went on the on the head. Wow. Shit. Got that Mardi Gras mask in the back. I love that. Happy Mardi Gras. Today is Mardi Gras. Is actually. it Mardi Gras? Fat yeah. Tuesday. Oh, shit. Fat Tuesday, dude. Can't dude, believe you didn't know that. Out. Can't believe you don't get a reminder with any holiday that has fat in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bro. No, it's fine, man. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm going to ta- toss you some beads so you can get your tits out for us, dude. <laughs> dude, my tits are on my butt. Okay. <laughs> Either or. <laughs> Leave me alone, Either or, dude. dude. Get them out. I got 11 Ds on my butt. <laughs> <laughs> These are the biggest tits. I should get my nipples moved to my butt. <laughs> uh, this guy, look, man, I don't even know where to start, man. You got flowers on the head. You got a, a butterfly on the back of your neck. You got the Forrest Gump haircut. There's a lot going on. You like bro. a damn museum, dude. You look like a like a uh, like a little bit of a museum, you know. All I know is that parrot's some bullshit. Yeah. The rest of it's good work. Yeah, I like the uh, I like a lot of that. Mi- I you, like. You gotta be careful with the lighthouse, though, man. We told you, Papa Bear came in, had that dick on his arm. Bro, man. his father died at a lighthouse when he was sixteen. <laughs> his did. Yeah. No, he said he's a big fan of Shutter Island. He did. Oh, my bad, man. Yeah. Theo, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought, I thought I heard him say, man. No. Well, I hope your dad's still alive, yeah. but if he isn't, then I miss him, too. Um, <laughs> Here's the first debate club from another familiar face. This is our boy, J-Rod. Oh, dude. This he is... has an Instagram now. Oh, he does? He does. Is it blowing up? I'm going to say uh, right now, it is J-R-O-D-D-E-K-A-T-S. Wow. And we'll share it on the cat's Instagram. I, I follow him now. I still think he's a criminal. <laughs> Well, we're about He's to always see. on the run. He's got a panty on his head. And he <laughs> submitted via the hashtag debate club, which everybody should do. So. Okay. Debate club. Can you stun? It's your boy, Pine Donner! Melatonin! Who are winning the fight? Rumble! <laughs> or John Wick? <laughs> Let the debate begin! Hey, that's my mind. What the fuck is going on? Was that, did he say that's my dad? <clears throat> he I said the guy's name is Melatonin. Dude. Yeah, He's a it. superhero. Don't you pay attention to the movie? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Oh, yeah, it was. That's, that's it was incredible. really good. It was really good. It was better than some of the tattoos we've seen today. By far. Um, <laughs> Here's the thing, man. I'm <laughs> He's like, <laughs> that's his dad. <laughs> you got to respect that. Dude, I love that. What, is, is, what is his dad dressed up as? <laughs> Not me. Look at the leather fucking vest. He's dressed up as my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom has, doesn't have that must, a mustache but some moms do though like some that. moms do though you know sometimes they catch my mom in the right light like all right you got a mustache That's cool. dude I, I fell in love with a girl one time and she had whiskers all over i said you gotta go get your whiskers down <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take a clip for that first shit, and girl. foremost get yeah. that fucking goatee bitch you have a, a mirror that doesn't see your hair you gotta whisk her down a little yeah you think she's this dime piece and you get in your convertible and the sun hits just right and they see you know she looks like hulk hogan <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I guess, man. Yeah, you never know. Oh, or with you, it might just be all yeah. you know? It's Terry. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, what was this woman asking about? <laughs> John Wick or um, Rambo, who would win in a fight? Dude, John Wick, fucking relax, bro. Didn't his whole fucking uh, revenge tour start because somebody killed his dog? Yeah. That dude has some real darkness, man. Yeah, I know in some areas, dog have a lot more... 
there's a lot more of a bounty on their head you know i grew up in an area a lot of dogs died yeah you know we would go pull dogs up the highway and bury them all the time when i was growing up doing the lord's work man yeah burying them do you think all dogs go to heaven mm, no no right ridiculous some of these bitches stay down here yeah <laughs> and some even go lower yeah dude some of those little ones those chihuahuas oh. all chihuahuas go to hell we saw one dressed up the other day. It looked somebody had dressed it up. It looked like kind of just like Nicki Minaj. Yeah, some of those little ones, man. If here's my thing: if a frisbee will kill it, it's not a dog. That's fair. That's Easy fair. litmus test. Fair. Throw a frisbee, hits it in the mouth. It, dog doesn't live. Not a dog. Not a dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a dog. Yeah. It's our standard for dogs here, dude. I think it's fair. I think it's legit. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that this man's dad is having a tough time, and I've never seen John Wick. I've never actually seen him either. Someone, I think my brother told me the plot. I'm like, hold on. Uh, I love Keanu, but dog dies and he goes on a revenge tour. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. Marley and me, I think was. It kind of sounds like a rip off of Marley and me. That's or me, fair. myself, and Marley, or whatever. Or, that or is. is Harrison Ford the new? Is that is that Wick Seven with Harrison Ford with the dog? Westbound, I think. Speaking of Wicks, man, shout out to that candle company. What's the candle company that sends us candles all the time? Um, I don't know. He's out of Boulder, though. Joey P. Monte is yeah. his name. I think it's Hangover Candle Company. Oh, that's right. Hangover Candle Company. So I want to give him a shout out. They always send nice stuff. Yeah, they always I got send some beautiful, beautiful candles, candles from them. Beautiful candles. Um, yeah, here's the other thing about Stallone. Dude, when he's doing Rambo, he, he's on so much steroids. Yeah. He's on so much roids. And then you go, he's, he flies to Vietnam and hurts all these innocent people, and he just has a knife, and then comes back in part two and then makes a part three. He's 75 years old and makes a part three. It goes back to Vietnam, even though there's no war going on. Just start slaughtering people. Well, let's ask Kat. Let's get you guys a side of the story. <laughs> yeah. What is y'all's side of the story when it comes to Rambo? When or just Vietnam in Ram general. Well, let's start with Rambo. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. You know what I'm you Yeah, know? good call. Because we have our opinion. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, y'all did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You know? I think my family is a little different of a situation. My grandpa actually fought with the Americans. And then once the Americans pulled out, he was uh, taken to prison as a prisoner of war for fighting with Americans. No oh, way. Wow. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this story was going to go that way. And so we're very Is there a movie about him yet? <laughs> uh, no, not yet. But I we feel like, like there to... should be. That's so crazy. There's not a movie about this? No, isn't uh, that Dunkirk? No, Dunkirk is a it's bunch of told about, like, British people that couldn't catch yeah. a ferry, I think, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. I think you're right. It's never told from, like, the other perspective. It's no. always, like, the white dude coming and in. And what did they do to your, uh, was your grandpa or your dad? My grandpa. What did they do to your grandpa? Uh, he was in jail for a couple years, and then eventually they just let him yeah, go. Yeah, you good, dog. Yeah, like, Once we want, what, you know, I guess. No do you think if he would have been a white guy, they would have let him go or no? Do you think it had anything mm. to do that he was uh, Vietnamese or no? I don't think they would let him go if he was white. Just out of principle. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Mm. But people are like, I, yeah, I don't know. I wish I just knew more. About Vietnam? Just everything. <laughs> 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 My life story, brother. Overall. Welcome. <laughs> so Rambo, in you guys' culture, it's not a hero or it's just kind of like a guy that's bothering everyone? I think he's more of a villain, correct? Yeah, I guess a villain or like just a weird white guy who just keeps coming back even though we're not fighting anymore. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a... Um, like one of those door-to-door -door sales, like those people selling those uh, magazines, you know, He's but his magazines have bullets in them. Or a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. You can't get rid of them. Them J-Dubs, boy. But he keeps pushing it on yep. you, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like Scientology. Dude, I had a Jehovah's Witness come in one time when I was living in Tucson and played video games with me for like three hours, bro. Did you buy the books? Huh? Did you buy the books? Uh, I didn't buy anything. He gave me this picture of a tiger, and then uh, and that was it. Cool Sounds guy. like a good day, really. It was chill. Are you still friends to this day? Nope. Hmm. What else you got, Nick? That's it. That does it. I feel like we get caught on one thing and we, we, we wasted a half an hour laughing at the guy trying to rap. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I couldn't stop laughing. That made laughing. me cry. Oh me my too. My, we'll, my insides yeah. are done. We'll put a link to the video <laughs> in the top of the YouTube. <laughs> Chin, what do you have to say, man? Any, you have any Chin's thoughts? Chin's been so quiet Very today, Very quiet man. today. What's I going on? Ever since you got a, this is good. I ever since you got a girlfriend, you've been so quiet. <laughs> ever, since, ever since we made fun of his ass. You fart in here? Nuh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it could smell. be this jacket. <laughs> it's probably that jacket. I think somebody put a fart in this jacket at the store. <laughs> and then you bought it, huh? I got it as a gift. It looks like a stinky jacket. Oh, wait. I did spill something on it. 
I think I spilled a bunch of soy sauce down one of the sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember that. I mean, that's what it was. Soy sauce. What did we miss, Jim? What did we, ever since you, ever since the thing happened, you got a girlfriend. You've been real quiet. Ever is since, that true? I don't think so. Ever, yeah, it is. Ever since Chinder <laughs> happened. <laughs> ever since Chinder happened. Yeah, ever since you got drunk and admitted that you liked him. <laughs> Them fluffy white chest uppers, <laughs> them fluffy white chest tonsils. What? You've been real silent yeah. since then, dude. Ever since you realized you really fucked up by not seeing yeah, fucking yeah. hot cars. Everybody tits. loved them, though, right? Everyone here loved them. I love yeah, titties, yeah, too. Not, yeah. as you, not as much as you did, though. Not as much as a drink on the side of the street for them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like yeah. I went down seven bottles of fucking sake to see them. The you longer you stay, the more you get enjoy it. Yeah. And the jiggles. You felt like yeah, you, you felt like you dropped the ball on that, maybe a little chin, maybe on purpose, maybe. I don't know. Uh, no, but I got no. to enjoy for as long as I did. Yeah. Two and a half hours was it? That's have, a long have, time. Have we heard from her since? Is she okay? Uh, I'm sure she's, she's all right. doing fine. She had yeah. her shit together, dude. She did. She was. She had her shit. Is together. she okay? She was way better once. She wasn't <laughs> associated with us anymore. Yeah, I'm I think sure. she's doing better now. She's probably in a better mental yeah, space. Dude, yeah. <laughs> She probably got a bunch of creeps trying to throw oh, yeah. tits. Man, Nick's almost forgetting that he just that he did Iggy's pussy. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Verse two, here we go. No. <laughs> Would it be crazy if I knew verse two and just crushed it? That would be so good. That was Damn, fucking, man, I wish I knew that's more. That's a classic King of the Steam yeah. fucking moment. He was ready for that. He'd been waiting his whole life for that, man. <sighs> he went in. I respect in. it, bro. I respect it, man. I Shout out to Nick, it. dude. You got any dates coming up, Doug? Um, yep, I'm gonna be in Maui, Hawaii, on March seventh, and I'm gonna be at the Ryman in Nashville on April seventeenth. Where you at in uh, Maui? What place? A place called the Castle Theater. Mm. It's it's at the Mac. Can you see of whatever sand? that is? I hope it is. It'd be great That'd in be there. Sick. Yeah, Hell that'd be yeah. so sick, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? A, a great idea. Castle? Yeah, I wish I did construction. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, dude. I'm in Tacoma this weekend, oh. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're in a gingerbread house. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> oh, I wish. What if we sold real gingerbread houses to people? Come on in. Come have on a, in. Yeah, check out the second bedroom. Have a bite. <laughs> <laughs> when you leave, make sure you eat what you leave. You yeah, 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 yeah. Bring your own ice and. Yeah. Oh, you get locked in the closet? Chew your way out. <laughs> Chew your way out. Yeah. Man. Won't say nothing. Yeah. Uh, we'll just yeah. bake another door. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no, there's no uh, gingerbread house in Tacoma, I don't think. But I'm there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, and then New Orleans, Detroit, Toronto, Minneapolis, Atlanta, all in March. One night only theater run. And we're about to announce uh, Austin, Texas, March 19th. Dude, you got to meet up with Don down there in New Orleans. When he's going to see you, March 14th, right? Maybe, maybe I should have Don uh, fucking bring me on stage and rap. Mm-hmm. Sick. That'd be a good be idea, sick. huh? Oh, it would be sick. That'd be sick. Don, DM me, dog. Or also just play a song at the beginning. I'd be so nervous, probably. Maybe he won't be. Maybe he's a professional. Oh, no. He, he, he can rap. Just fucking Nick can rap. Look at Nick. <laughs> Might have point. Nick open up for me. <laughs> fucking rap me on stage. Go. He went hard in the paint. Dude, he went so hard. Chappelle, you have dates, brother? We didn't ask you uh, last time. Just some local stuff. Uh, where am I at? The Laugh Factory. All right. Yeah, you know what it is. Well, he might be on the road with me, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Austin. Possibly. Chappelle might be coming with me. Yeah. Oh, fun, man. Yeah, yeah party, dog. party. Good to see you guys, man. Yeah. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank Coach Corner, Nick. Oh, you guys Jen, made me laugh so hard. Brennan, gang, 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 bro. Guys. Yeah. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz.